as an electronic student, you should be uh, uh, aware of uh, so many terminologies uh, which are associated with the nowadays electronic communication system. So, uh, uh, in radio transmission system, it is necessary to send the audio signal, whether it is, a, it is a, your voice signal, whether it is your music signal, from a broadcasting station over a great distance to a receiver. Right now, uh, uh, five or six of you are uh, there at different parts, uh, maybe in Mumbai or some of you are uh, uh, outside the Mumbai, but still you are able to hear me, okay, even though you are a uh, long distance away from me, uh, you are able to hear me. So uh, what are the different techniques, what are the different process, what are the different steps involved, even though uh, uh, I'm uh, sitting at a far distance away. Uh, uh, maybe some of you are using a mobile phone device. Some of you are using a desktop right now to hear me, to see this PPT. Uh, I'm using uh, a MacBook, okay, which is completely different than your system. So although uh, the systems uh, between which your transmission and receiving thing is happening, I'm transmitting or receiving, okay. The system as a whole is different, but still they are compatible. Okay, every system is able to understand every other system. What the, what the, uh, what I am transmitting, what uh, your system is receiving. The system, although, are different, but still uh, the whole process of uh, communication is happening between the two devices. So uh, via some mean. Okay, so in radio transmission, it is necessary to send the information signal. Okay, from a broadcasting station over great distance to a receiver. Okay, uh, maybe some of you are in Virar, some of you are in. Wapi, Gujarat, Delhi, uh, far this, far away from uh, this uh, 2,000 kilometer, 3,000 kilometer, uh, still uh, you are able to uh, receive the signal. So the communication is happening uh, over large distance right now. Now suppose, for example, uh, the distance between the two person is only say 10 feet or 15 feet or maybe say uh, 20 feet. Uh, then person A will be able to communicate with person B. Two person is very less, say 20 feet or uh, 10 feet, 20 feet. Then person A will be able to communicate with person B. But but if the person A is, uh, say, uh, 1,000 kilometer away from person B, uh, will still the communication will is possible without using any device. If I start sending the signal, if I start sending, if, if I start teaching you people, I don't know uh, at which place you people are, but you know that uh, Ajay sir has started uh, teaching uh, in his classroom. Okay. Will you be able to hear me? So, uh, uh, the audio signal requires material medium, material uh, because uh, everywhere you have air, air is a good uh, material to uh, send the signal. Okay. Signal can travel through air. Uh, but if the distance uh, between the transmitter and receiver is very large and you know that uh, the sound waves it is it goes in spherical wave front, okay uh, power p upon 4 pi r square so p is the power at which these uh, sound was generated at the source and r is the distance at which uh, you are getting the uh, sound intensity so in the intensity of sound goes on decreasing with respect to r why it goes on decreasing because there are so many obstacles Okay, so many obstacles uh, present uh, in the medium air and uh, sound wave uh, will have more intensity if the distance between transmitter and receiver is less. As the receiver goes away from the uh, source of sound, the intensity of sound goes on decreasing. The reasons are there are so many obstacles. The sound uh, wave energy, the energy uh, possessed into the sound wave, it has to a fight with those obstacles and thereby the energy goes on decreasing and towards the end if the distance is very large uh, the intensity of sound the loudness will die out it will die down and uh, eventually uh, no audio will be uh, received by the receivers because of the so many obstacles present uh, in the medium in between the transmitter and the receiver so uh, uh, if uh, the transmitter and receiver they are not using any device and if transmission uh, of the sound is happening through air, then definitely it will be very difficult uh, to have the possibility of communication between the transmitter and the receiver. On the other hand, on the other hand, on the other hand, if if uh, person A starts using device, say mobile phone, person B starts using say mobile phone, and if the distance between the two is say one thousand kilometer, what has changed? 
uh, nothing has changed except the use of the mobile phone. So you know, person A is having uh, is using device, person B is using device. Distance is same as the previous case. Uh, previous case, no communication was possible. In this case, communication is possible. So what has changed? Earlier also, uh, uh, the transmitter was uh, 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 generating the signal. Uh, person A was generating the signal. Uh, he was emitting the sound. Uh, in this case also, person A is emitting the sound. But since uh, in this case, person is using a mobile phone device. So something is happening additional. Okay, compared to previous case. Previous case, the sound was emitted directly to into the air. Here, uh, between air and the mouth, okay, there is a device. Okay, and something is happening inside the device. What actually is happening inside the device uh, that we will try to understand uh, in this chapter. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So the audio signal cannot be sent directly over uh, uh, into the air for the large appreciable distance even if the audio signal is converted into the electrical signal it cannot be sent very large distance uh, because the uh, uh, intensity will go on decreasing even if it is electrical signal uh, there will be losses uh, into the cable you must have uh, seen you must have studied the, the various losses which are happening uh, in the cable uh, you we know that the energy of signal is directly proportional to the frequency uh, e equal to h into nu okay uh, nu is the frequency of the signal e is the energy possessed by the signal so if the uh, if 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 uh, the uh, uh, frequency of the signal is very less energy possessed by the signal will be very less if by some technique if by something some mean if you uh, can enhance if you can enhance the frequency of the signal uh, then definitely uh, you will increase the energy possessed by the signal and you know that if signal is having more energy uh, more energy will help in fighting against the uh, obstacles uh, present in the air and thereby the, the signal will be able to reach uh, to the destination am I right? yes sir okay. So the energy of a uh, signal wave is uh, proportional to its frequency. Okay. Energy of a wave is uh, proportional to its frequency. Uh, at audio frequencies, uh, this is the audio, okay? This is the uh, audible range frequency, 20 hertz to 20 kilowatt. The signal power is quite small and uh, radiation directly into the air is not possible. Uh, what is the emitting frequencies uh, uh, possible for us human beings? range of emitted frequencies which is possible for human being frequency beyond 20 kilohertz is the supersonic okay uh, that uh, we will not have any sense uh, for that i'm saying uh, emitting okay what uh, we can emit uh, from our body our mouth what is the maximum around somewhere so uh, around 9 kilohertz Okay, uh, up to 9.4 or 9.6 kilohertz, we can emit. Uh, of course, harmonics, uh, this is the fundamental harmonics can go up to two times or three times. Okay, uh, your musical instrument, uh, they generate up to 16 kilohertz, 18 kilohertz uh, and multiple. Uh, but with our mouse, we can generate up to 9.4 kilohertz. Okay, that is the uh, signal which we can generate uh, from our mouth, a human, human mouth. Uh, harmonics can go up to 15 kilo or 16 kilo, but uh, fundamental will be uh, uh, 9.4 kilo. So that is the maximum. And uh, uh, if you uh, start uh, using uh, the device, so okay, have you experienced uh, this? Uh, if you talk to a person face to face first time, if you talk to a person face to face first time. On Monday, if you talk to a person face to face first time on Monday, on Tuesday, if you talk to the same person via on the telephone, and if person does not reveal the identity, many time, many time, uh, it is our, our observation that we are not able to identify the same person over the phone on the second day or third day. And if you don't know the, if we don't 
doesn't reveal the identity, then we will not be able to uh, identify. What is the reason? What could be the reason? Any idea? Is it our uh, just uh, the sensation or something uh, technologically something wrong, something different? Or it is only our mindset uh, because of which we are not able to identify. <laughs> okay, the reason is uh, slightly the combination of both. Uh, many times uh, our memory mind processes the thing. So even uh, even though uh, uh, we are not able to um, hear properly the other end, but still we come to the conclusion that this person could be the uh, Rohan or Ganesh. But for the first time, uh, listener, uh, we are not able to really identify the reason is uh, because in uh, india the uh, telephone devices they allow the maximum frequency only up to 3.3 to 8 3328 hertz 3.328 kilohertz so that is the maximum frequency which can travel uh, through the uh, telephone devices and since uh, whatever you can generate up to 9.6 uh, eventually it is cut off, it is chopped off uh, up uh, to the frequency limit of 3.328 kilohertz. And since there is a filtration, there is a uh, uh, chopping of the signal, there is attenuation of the signal to the level of 3.328 kilohertz. So therefore, we are not able to uh, identify the person uh, if the person is over the phone just the first time. Clear? Uh, the high frequency signals can be sent thousands of miles. The reason is that because uh, frequency, uh, if there is an increase in the frequency of the signal, which means that the energy of the signal has been enhanced. So, uh, more energetic signal can travel larger distance because the uh, signal can fight with the uh, energy of the signal can find with so many obstacles present uh, in the air. So, therefore, therefore, uh, if if uh, uh, the uh, audio signal, uh, because we want to communicate from one terminal to the other uh, terminal, okay, uh, communicate means uh, we want to send the signal via our speech, via our voice. So if audio signal is to be transmitted properly, some means, some technology must be devised, which will permit transmission to occur at higher frequencies. Suppose a person, a 55 year old person uh, wants to uh, uh, go uh, from Mumbai to Delhi, and if the person goes by, by walking, okay, a uh, person uh, goes by walking, uh, what is the probability that person will reach the uh, Delhi? Person is very weak. Health wise, person is very weak. Uh, distance between Mumbai to Delhi is around uh, 1650. Kilometer. Uh, the person is already very weak, uh, and if the person starts uh, walking, okay, uh, there is a great chance that person energy will go down, and uh, he may get collapse. He get he may get uh, die out. Okay, so the probability is very less. But if the same person uh, catches the Rajdhani, okay, which goes from Mumbai Central, and next day morning, uh, the person will be able to reach. Delhi safely. Am I right? Am I right? Yes, sir. So what what is what what was the difference between the two cases? Case one person was walking on its own, case two person is catching the train. What is the difference between the two? Between the two cases. Okay, so in case one, a person uh, you can uh, consider to be a data. So if the data starts traveling from one terminal to the other terminal, data is, is very weak. Uh, uh, data will not be able to sustain so many obstacles uh, because energy is very less. On the other hand, if the second case, if you see the person uh, goes into the train, train carries the person from Mumbai 
to Delhi. Distance is very large. Person is still safe. And after reaching uh, New Delhi, the person will leave the train and uh, the person will go to uh, his destination where he is supposed to uh, report for the office work. Okay. So uh, the train has carried the person from Terminal 1 to Terminal 2. So similar kind of technology, very analog uh, analogy of this kind of technology is incorporated into the communication system. So data or voice is very important. It carries information, it carries message. So what is what is done? It is it is uh, uh, carried. It is carried from one terminal to the other terminal by high frequency, high energy, empty carrier signal. Okay, empty carrier signal uh, is uh, uh, generated. Why it is generated? It is generated just to carry the information, to carry data from one terminal to the other terminal. Okay, it is uh, uh, generated just to carry the information from one terminal to the other terminal so that communication uh, should happen. Okay, So the, some technology must be devised, some technology must be developed, which will allow the uh, transmission to occur at high frequencies while it simultaneously allows carrying of the audio signal. Okay, So empty carrier signal, high energy empty carrier signal should be uh, developed so that uh, it can carry the information, original data, which is, which is very weak, I told you. 3328 uh, kilohertz is the only uh, frequency which uh, will come out from your mobile phone or your telephone which is a very weak signal and uh, uh, if you generate a high frequency signal it will be able to carry the information from one terminal to the other terminal. is that clear yes sir okay so uh, this uh, technique, this is achieved uh, by superimposing uh, the audio signal onto the high uh, frequency carrier signal. So I give you the example of a train. A train is a carrier and person was the data. So train is carrying data from one terminal to the other terminal. Same, same thing uh, uh, is uh, happening in the uh, communication system. So uh, empty carrier signal will carry the data uh, onto its shoulder from one terminal to the other terminal. So this, this whole technology is achieved by super, superimposing the audio signal onto high frequency carrier signal. The resultant waves are called as modulated wave or the radio waves. And the process is called as modulation. Uh, now at the receiver end, the audio signal, uh, uh, because uh, uh, audio signal was uh, superimposed onto the carrier signal. Uh, now uh, see, uh, uh, when the person was catching the train uh, at Mumbai, uh, the person has to leave the train at Delhi. Person cannot carry train to his office. Okay, so uh, a person should leave the train. So similarly, similar thing uh, happens in the communication system. So at the receiver terminal, the audio signal must be extracted. It must be extracted from the uh, uh, your uh, modulated signal uh, by the process which is called as demodulation. So the, the signal is then amplified why it is amplified because uh, uh, some operation has happened operation has been carried out uh, uh, for extracting the data signal from the uh, uh, your carrier signal okay so uh, the operation leads to the weakness of the signal weakening of the signal and therefore the signal needs, needs the strength and therefore the signal is then amplified and reproduced into sound by the loudspeaker okay and this is what the uh, this is what the whole uh, 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 skeleton hold schematic. So here uh, in your mobile phone device also. Okay. Uh, uh, let me uh, explain you without the diagram, and then I will use the diagram. Now, when you use your mobile phone, when you use your mobile phone. Okay. So when you speak, when you speak. What is the first device in your mobile phone? What is the first electronic component in your mobile phone which comes into play when you speak? What is the first electronic component which comes into play? Microphone. Microphone will convert uh, the sound signal. So when you speak, uh, there's a uh, disturbance in the pressure uh, uh, which will uh, affect the diaphragm of the uh, uh, microphone. Okay, and uh, the uh, uh, pressure variation 
uh, is proportional to the current which will be generated at the output of the microphone so uh, the frequency uh, with which the laser uh, will be disturbed the air pressure will be disturbed on the microphone it will be proportional to the amount uh, of the current okay so that current is nothing but uh, uh, it is the frequency with which you are speaking okay so the output of the uh, microphone will be the uh, current that is uh, electrical signal originally uh, you send the audio signal uh, very first component has converted the audio signal into the electrical signal okay and that electrical signal is then amplified and then uh, it goes to the uh, uh, so here is the microphone microphone will convert the sound signal into electrical signal uh, the current or the uh, voltage uh, of that electrical signal will be proportional to the frequency of the sound signal frequency uh, uh, pressure variation on uh, falling onto the uh, uh, diaphragm of the microphone uh, and then uh, this electrical signal needs amplification then it goes to the uh, modulator circuit now if you see here uh, if you see here you see here uh, the modulator receives two signal one is this uh, electrical signal and this electrical signal is nothing but this sound wave signal which you have uh, inputted into the system okay so this is the data signal and if you see the modulator signal is receiving one more signal and what is that signal can anyone tell me modulator is receiving two signal one is this uh, data signal which is converted into electrical signal and one more signal this modulator is receiving other signal which this modulator is receiving is the signal coming from this uh, oscillator which is uh, inbuilt into your uh, mobile phone device okay and this oscillator is generating mp carrier signal high frequency mp carrier signal so this high frequency mp carrier signal is sent to the modulator uh, data signal is received by the modulator so the mixing the uh, superimposing of the data signal onto the carrier signal is, is happening into the modulator and this output which is called as the resultant signal which a is the combination the superimposition of the uh, uh, data signal onto the carrier signal so that uh, uh, combined output resultant output is then sent to the uh, antenna for uh, radio uh, transmission okay for radio transmission and so uh, uh, this antenna will release the uh, signal into the air uh, and after traveling a large distance the signal will be received by the uh, uh, receiving antenna and then uh, the reverse process happens so here modulator here uh, demodulation if time permits then i will uh, discuss uh, uh, what are the steps in uh, the demodulation process so although many times we say that uh, the whole system uh, is wireless but it is not uh, actually wireless the whole system uh, the whole communication is not uh, wireless right now you are able to hear me uh, not but the uh, whole process is not wireless okay so right now uh, i'm using uh, the macbook uh, from uh, my or if i start using the mobile phone device so uh, and if I start uh, communicating with you, so the data from my mobile phone to the nearby tower, nearby the tower, nearby tower, only this much uh, uh, is the uh, wireless. Only this much is the uh, radio communication. Okay, I'm slightly diverting from this only for your knowledge. So uh, only from my mobile phone device to the nearby tower, it is the wireless. So from nearby tower, uh, the whole process, whole thing uh, goes into the fiber optic cable. And uh, towards your side also, uh, the nearby tower will receive from my nearby tower to your nearby tower. The whole uh, signal will go uh, via the fiber optic cable. And from your nearby tower to your device, it will be a wireless. So now, not whole process is uh, wireless, but uh, uh, only the first part and the last part uh, they are wireless. But still, uh, the uh, old days, if you see, we uh, uh, used to have the. Uh, television your am your fm uh, those process used to uh, involve a uh, large part uh, was the uh, radio communication is it clear to everyone yes sir hello so uh, at the receiver end uh, uh, in your mobile phone device okay so uh, if you if you uh, hear uh, if you hear in your mobile phone device, what is the first component? A uh, speaker last component. That is the output. No, speaker is the last component in your uh, receiver receiving device. Uh, so uh, if you, if if uh, I just uh, uh, ring uh, uh, one of you, okay. 
if i start uh, ringing so what will be the first component so see uh, every mobile phone device has the transmitting antenna and uh, the receiving antenna uh, antenna all the time suppose there are 10 10 telephones there are 10 telephones or uh, if, if i'm taking a class uh, say uh, uh, at university campus you are in uh, uh, your lecture complex uh, uh, one okay that is a very big auditorium 50 student used to sit there when we So 150 students are there. If I, uh, uh, okay, all are having mobile, mobile phone device. And if there is a person, particular person, uh, persons, uh, person B, okay, and if uh, I am trying to call person B, so whose, whose uh, ring will then? Out of 150 mobile phone device, whose ring will be? Are you getting my question? If there are 150 students in a uh, letter complex sitting in LR room number one, uh, of those 150 students, if I, I'm trying to call a student who is sitting on the second row, okay, second student, and I know the phone number of that student, so whose phone will ring? Have you understood my question? Thing was, if there are 150 students and I want to call, I have the number of all the 150 students, but I want to call a student who is sitting on the second row. Uh, per, uh, name of the person is suppose person B. Uh, and I have the number in my device. So whose phone will ring in this 150 student? So, uh, the answer is very simple, no? So uh, the uh, the the phone of that student will ring. To whom I am calling? If I am calling person B, then why the person C will uh, receive my call? If I am calling person B. So uh, what I am trying to explain with this example is that although those uh, antenna receiving antenna of all mobile phone devices they are active all the time, twenty four hour. They're active, okay? They're active all the time, but, but, and they're receiving signal. All, all, all signals are, are being received by the receiving antenna, your AM, your FM, all the signals are received by your uh, receiving antenna. But, but the moment uh, uh, the destination is very well defined, then receiving antenna will be able to decode it, okay? And that information, when I'm dialing your number, your receiving antenna becomes activated, it gets enabled, and then that information will be further carried to the uh, uh, receiver, and radio receiver will then process the information, and a uh, whole thing happens. So although all the antenna, are, they are active all the time, but uh, enabling, okay, which antenna will be enabled to receive the information, it depends on uh, where uh, the transmitting uh, transmitted signal was addressed to go where the transmitter signal uh, were addressed to go although the distance between every student is very small they all have the uh, devices but only uh, the uh, well defined destination will receive the uh, information because uh, that was the address which was given to the information and only that device phone will ring not other devices Thank you.